a while initially few slides and then video yeah so basically this uh, <clears throat> now what i am going to describe is the draping of a lower limb surgery either the part uh, which is to be operated is either below knee foot and ankle or knee and the thigh the patient here is in a supine position the anesthetized patient is kept in the supine position the limb is scrubbed and uh, prepared properly uh, by one of the assistants and a uh, assistant who has washed up and gloved holds the limb now here you have to be uh, careful that you prepare the entire leg that is the entire foot and the uh, web spaces between the digits because basically you need to uh, clean the foot completely so that it is held by a person so this is a trolley which has been laid now we will start the draping so first thing that you do is take a plastic sheet the assistant as you can see is holding the leg uh, somewhere just below the knee the first sheet goes under the leg the second sheet you make a small cut or a slit in the sheet and then you thread the leg or the foot through the small hole or a slit that you have made in the plastic sheet once you have threaded the foot through the small hole you pull the sheet up the leg till you isolate the amount of leg that you want to keep it open or which actually uh, keeps the operating area open so because the leg goes on becoming wider as you go up as you pull the sheet up it automatically tears and accommodates the leg so basically here i am showing you the video for below the knee surgery or below knee draping you go only up to the knee if you want to keep the knee also open or you are operating or doing some procedure on the lower thigh or the knee then you keep on pulling on the plastic sheet it goes on tearing and goes right up to the upper third of the thigh where the tourniquet is applied so after you have isolated the part with two sheets now you take a medium size of sheet the assistant has now moved to the foot end and he is holding the foot you take a medium size of sheet and put it on the plastic sheet below the leg next you take another big sheet now and open it with the uh, from both the sides and take it around the thigh bring both the ends anteriorly and secure it just below the tourniquet with a towel clip here take special precaution that you don't puncture or pinch the tourniquet because if you are using a sharp towel clip there is a danger of puncturing the tourniquet so be careful where you are applying the uh, towel clip now take a second big sheet and put it on the thigh and the upper body take the two ends around the thigh and secure it with a towel clip again either on the posterior aspect of the thigh or on the lateral aspect of the thigh so now you have isolated the upper part of the body and the thigh from both the sides from anteriorly and posteriorly now take a big sheet and spread it and bring it up to the tourniquet and cover the entire lower part of the table let the sheet go right up to the floor to cover the lower part of the table nothing should be exposed now take one more sheet from the upper side and medially and laterally secure these two sheets one from below and one from above with towel clip so now you have two layers the first one was inside and now these two sheets you have covered depending on the surgical area that you are operating on you need to cover the part of the foot which you are not going to operate on with a mop which you tie a knot around it and then 
to keep the mop in place you turn a glove on it so that it remains in place so as you can see uh, you can put an extra bandage to secure the glove in place so that it doesn't slip off so now you can see that the lower extremity from ankle up to the knee joint is exposed so if that is the area that you are operating on you have a completely isolated area the entire or the rest of the field is completely covered by your sterile drapes and this will avoid complete contamination so this is for the uh, leg and ankle if you want to operate say on the heel uh, what you can do is instead of put, pulling the glove over the heel you can keep it and just cover the toes so this is for the leg below the knee now i think there is a short video which will yeah now here we can see that if you are operating supposing on the area which is uh, closer to the knee or the lower thigh the technique basically remains the same only thing is in the previous video you have seen that we have isolated only the foot and ankle in this particular case because your operating field is either knee or the distal thigh you don't want the rest of the leg to be left open so you completely drape it inside and cover the leg and see that only the operating field is left open so this is again a short video of the same same procedure but again as i said here you are probably going to do it on the knee or the thigh so there you go so here instead of a mop you have taken a big sheet and you have covered the foot ankle and the lower third of the leg in the sheet which you will secure in place with either a clean wrap or a roller bandage depending on the availability so here you can see that the knee and the upper third of leg so this this type of draping would be useful in any surgery on the knee or on the upper end of tibia where you don't really need to keep the ankle foot and the lower third of the leg exposed so you secure it with a bandage yes so you are done yes okay